Welcome back, everybody. Well, if all Mondays could be as nice as this one, I think our view of Mondays would probably be a little bit more positive. Hard to complain about anything whatsoever. Not only did we have sunshine and just a few clouds around, we had very pleasant temperatures, very comfortable humidity, and probably more important than anything else, much improved air quality as well. Temperatures today, middle and upper 70s, a little bit below normal for this time of year, but we are breathing much, much cleaner air now than we have been the last couple of days as the smoke from Canadian wildfires paid us yet another visit. And I'm not convinced that we're done with the smoke. I think it actually is something that we may have to deal with on and off here for the rest of the summer. But thankfully, I think days like today are going to become a little bit more uh, the norm than anything else. Now, there's no reason to believe we've got anything to worry about here the rest of the night tonight or even in through tomorrow from a smoke standpoint. There might be a little bit that starts to advance southeastward here out of northern Minnesota tomorrow night, but nothing that's of imminent concern whatsoever. Current state of affairs, we're looking pretty darn good. Temperatures in the 70s, dew points in the 50s, a northwesterly wind blowing, uh, continuing to guarantee that this very comfortable air is going nowhere anytime time soon. So if you're planning on having dinner outdoors or just leisurely spending some time on the deck or the patio, do so knowing that you've got no concern about weather, nor are you going to have to cover up that patio furniture anytime soon. And if you haven't done so already, give the AC a break because there's absolutely no need here the rest of the night. The humidity is gone for the time being. It will start to increase again as we get into the middle portions of the week. Not to oppressive levels here, but it will be noticeably more muggy here in the Wednesday, Thursday time period. And not coincidentally, that's really the only chance of rain we have to discuss whatsoever. So we'll quickly cycle through tonight, knowing that we've got nothing to worry about as we head down to 55 degrees underneath the clear sky. Tomorrow, sunshine goes nowhere. Maybe a couple of fair weather cumulus clouds once again. Well, tomorrow night into Wednesday, starting to include a little bit more humidity. That's why I think we might have a little bit more cloudiness. Earlier on, the thought was that we could see some showers and storms Wednesday afternoon. We're going to push those back until Wednesday night or early Thursday morning. And as you can see from Timecast, this is nothing to cancel any outdoor plans over whatsoever. So plan on spending plenty of time outside as uh, the Wednesday night, Thursday time period, really the only period where there could be some shower and thunderstorm activity. Good news, bad news. Good news from the standpoint that we'll have an opportunity to enjoy some outdoor plans. Bad news in the fact that we were making such progress on the drought fronts. Unfortunately, our deficits are going to continue to grow once again. Tomorrow, upper 70s to lower 80s, mid 80s then for us on Wednesday and again on Thursday. Again, those storm chances, yeah, they're there, but nothing I would go canceling any plans over. We are looking fantastic for brought days on Friday and Saturday. Next storm chance of any consequence wouldn't come our way until Sunday. Not a bad mid-July forecast. We've had some times in mid-July where it could be just brutally hot. That is not the case this go around. Well, it's because Mother Nature knows it's Alpine Kiwanis brought days. Yes, indeed. <laughs> and you know what? This is probably one of the nicer forecasts for that event we've yeah. had in some time. All right. Thanks, Mark. Still to come, we're only one month away from the first Republican primary debate for the 2024 presidential election. New campaign finance numbers 